What is up, you guys? Pete DiCarlo with DiCarlo Capital, and today we're going to be talking about NEO. NEO, unfortunately, has done exactly what we expected. We rejected at this 11 and 22 MA, rejected here at the $30 resistance, and we are back down here at $27 within this descending wedge. Small caps have had the crap beaten out of them over the past couple of days and it seems like spy and the russell probably have some more to drop especially the russell 2000 iwm is not looking too hot and in this video we're going to go over neo we're going to go over flow we're going to go over dark pool we're going to go over different examples of trades that i would take and ultimately where i see neo going within the next couple of weeks and months guys thanks for all the support hit the like button subscribe we're at nearly 10,000 subscribers go ahead and check out our discord it's completely free the link is in the description you guys get access to free courses free live streams free seminars webinars as well as the best unusual options bot out there this bot is a 200 a month service that we give to you guys completely for free we pay for it through trading ticks and it gives you guys the same exact heat maps unusual flows and dark pool flows that we pay for and that we use each and every single day our goal going into 2022 is to build the biggest and best free community discord out there guys thank you for all of your support and i look forward to working with you check out the discord in the link now Looking at NEO, as we've been talking about for a while now, there has been this very, very strong support here at $30.56. This is a weekly chart, so please re realize that this is a very, very long time frame that we are looking at currently here. And you can see we've been holding this major support at $30.21 for a very, very long time. The other thing that I want you to realize as well is that we have this very strong resistance that has slowly been making lower highs each and every single week over week since January of 2020. So every single bounce, that we've had off of this support range at, at you know thirty dollars has been weaker and weaker and weaker and finally we are down here one more time and as you guys know the weaker bounces the weaker that this support is unfortunately if we look at a daily chart though you will see that it does look a little bit better for this support up here where we're holding at 35 and we snapped but we had a little bit of a trading range between 46 and 47 but so far it's really not looking too good i it's looking like we could probably try to bounce one more time but i think that the highest we're going to get at this point is maybe back up to 36 38 in the next couple of weeks but it is looking like potentially mid to end of the year we could snap this big support at $30 and potentially drop significantly back down to like $15, maybe $14 on NEO. I'm not so concerned with that because I'm not entirely sure. Of course, we're looking at the next six to seven months. And fundamentally, I do like this company. I do think it's a huge speculation uh, as far as an investment standpoint. But I do think that this company does have a bright future ahead of them over the next five to 10 years. But short term, if the rest of the market fades and falls off, then we really could see this thing really drop. RSI is pointing straight down at 40. MACD is about to cross to the downside. Volume is not holding too steady. And if we take a look at the flow for today, on Neo, you're going to see a decent amount of calls, but nothing crazy, nothing huge. And that's what we're looking for. Size, time, urgency. Don't really see any of that. We do actually see we did have one dark pool come through here at 1107. This may have been a sell. We're using this as a resistance intraday. So this could have been a sell for the day, but we'll see what ends up happening. But nothing really unusual. Um, from a trading standpoint, there's really only one way or two ways that I would be trading Neo at this point. We do have this beautiful support that we've been holding at for a bit but like you can't lie it is looking weaker and weaker by the day even if you are a bull on 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 neo i'm not saying that long-term neo is a bad investment or a bad company i actually really like the company long term i've done plenty of long-term breakdowns on this company but i can do another one in the future if you want but at this point with neo i would be pretty concerned with holding a trade there's only a couple of ways i would probably trade this and this is really through put credit spreads or call credit spreads so if you are a bull I'd be looking to do a put credit spread for next Friday. I would be looking to sell a like $27 put and then I would be looking to buy a 26 put below it. You can see here, you'd have to put up $70 to make $30 in return, which is pretty damn good. But the beauty of this put credit spread is you have a 68% chance of profit, which is pretty damn good, right? Because if we end up holding below 28, 
slash $30 for the next week, we're really going to see a significant drop. So that price won't matter, right? That, that small difference won't matter. And if you're a bear, which I'm not even huge being a bear here, because even though there's a lot for us to drop to, like just fill in the gap over here down to 23, it's already sold off so much that the RVR is just not worth it to either side. Kind of like Palantir, like I did a video on earlier. But with that, I would be looking to probably sell a $29 call and then actually buy a $30 call. And then here you can see for every 73 you put up, you make 27 as long as it closes above 29 by next Friday. Day. but honestly guys that's the way that i would trade it that's the way i would be looking at it i hope this video helps i'll continue to monitor the situation keep you guys posted with different trades and different videos let me know any tickers you guys want me to talk about down below as always guys thank you for your support and i'll see you next time peace